Hello everyone, hello YouTube, this is Felipe, o Gato de Salto, and today I'm here with a very exciting video for you, five tips on how to be sexier when dancing samba. Welcome or welcome back to my channel where I try to bring out a new video weekly talking about carnival, samba, samba world, samba dance, samba music or anything related to this world which I love so much and I hope you love it too. So if you don't know this channel make sure you subscribe and hit the notification button so you know when there's a new video fresh coming out to you and share this channel, these videos with your friends so we can make our community grow. So this video concludes a little series of videos that I made talking about sex, basically. We had samba and sexism, samba and sensuality, and samba and vulgarity. And the reason why I decided to make these, as well as these five tips, is because many of my students really want to learn how to become sexier. How can they convey this idea when they are performing? And I think that it's not all about the moves. So if you're just coming here to this video because of the moves and the ideas and tips I'm going to give you, make sure you check the other videos, especially Samba and Sensuality, so you know what your mindset should be, what you should be thinking about, and how you should be thinking properly in order to convey the right idea that is sensual. But let's not get any further delays into this video, let's start with tip number one. Your hands. Your hands should be neutral. I already said that in another video, I have another video here about hands and samba, but what I want to say is hands and touching. Touching is something that is sexy, that is sensual. Touching is touching people, is one of the senses of your body. But how do you touch yourself on the stage and when you're performing without being vulgar? Very easy. It's a very small tip, uh, but basically you, all you need to do is to, instead of using the palm of your hand to touch and caress yourself, use the back of your hand to touch and caress yourself. This is already going to take down the sensuality a notch but still make it very sexy and very sensual. Tip number two, slow down. This is possibly one of the most important lessons I've ever learned when it comes to sensuality and sexiness. The batteria or the music can be very, very fast and you can keep the beat if you want, but if you're trying to be sexy or extremely sexy, you have to go slow. Just slow down your rebolado, just slow down your walk, slow down anything, except for your samba no pé, that one should always be on the beat, but slow down the other moves, even like how you hold your hair or your pose, and I guarantee you, you are definitely going to be more sensual right away. This also goes hand in hand with another tip, so it's not even five, it's six tips in this video. The breathing, how do you breathe? Inhaling, <sighs> exhaling. These are things that you can use to bring yourself down, to calm down, to become slower, and that are also extremely, extremely sensual. So if you're dancing really fast and you are tired and you want to, you know, convey that sensuality, inhale <sighs> deeply, coming with your hands, the back of your hands, through your body, up to your hair, and then exhale, and perhaps go into a slow rebolado. And there you go. Whew. Tip number three, your walk. Now, you have to train this. Walking in a sexy way is not easy. Make sure you refer to the other videos about what to do when you are on high heels with your upper body, with your lower body with your legs and feet. Make sure you check all the other dance tips videos that I have just for you to make sure you have all the information in order to practice your walk. But what I actually mean is that during your walk is the best way to express sensuality. So either if you have a frontal walk 
or a sidewalk, that's perfect, a perfect moment for you to be very sensual and sexy without actually being vulgar. Tip number four, your chin down. Bringing your chin down in some of your moves is definitely going to make them more sensual. Especially in an afunda, for example, I always like to bring the chin down or if you're doing a rebolado and you're expressing pride, but then you lower your chin and suddenly you have this cat eye look and you are just more sensual. So it's such a small detail, just bring it down for a little bit, look straight into your audience or the camera if you're being photographed or filmed and that's definitely going to convey more sensuality right away. And then if that was not enough, <laughs> open a little smile and maybe a wink and that's enough. Don't do anything else because else you get too much and it can become vulgar. Just please don't do it all the time. You don't want to have your entire show like this. Please, no, it's just, it's just a nuance. It's just a subtle tip. It's just something you do every once in a while. And finally is choose the diagonal instead of choosing your back view. Now, in the video about samba and vulgarity, I talked about how many dancers decide to turn around and show their derriere and move their asses to the public. Um, you can watch the video if you want to know what I think about that. Uh, but what I want to present to you as an alternative is actually going and doing the diagonal. Because when you are on diagonal, you have a nice shape to your body. And dancing in diagonal is also a great way of, of, of showing a little bit of what's in the back, but not everything, and it's not very explicit. So I think being in diagonal is a great, a great alternative instead of turning all the way your back to the public or your butt to the public. But that's it. Those are my five slash five and a half, six tips on how to become sexier and more sensual when you're dancing samba. Please train them. Tag me in your videos. Send me your videos. Send me your comments. Send me messages. Ask me questions. Let's interact. I can't wait to see an army of fierce, self-empowered women out there. There's nothing sexier than self-confidence. And I can't wait to see you next time with another video about our beautiful samba world. Take care, bye bye.